The needle threader is ideal once you master it. A few things I like to do is number one, when after you've threaded the last guide at the top of the needle, you'll notice that the thread is really easy to pull out. But if you lower down the presser foot, it makes it tighter, makes it a little easier with that resistance to use the needle threader. Next, let me show you how it's gonna be without thread in it just yet. When you bring it down, you're gonna bring it down and bring it all the way. So it comes around the needle eye. There is, a, there is a small little hook that's coming towards us from the back that we're gonna lay the thread into. So when we bring this down, you kinda wanna do this in three separate steps. As you bring it down, I'll come around this arm on the side. I kind of make sure I'm underneath it by the time it's about halfway down. Makes it really easy to kind of swoop it and catch it. Next, bring the needle threader all the way down and towards you. And so that the little lever with the hook on it can get through the eye of the needle. So one more time, down, under. And then we're gonna take the thread and lift up kind of behind this white arm that's sitting now on the right side of the needle. Now, as I lift up, notice I'm not pushing it to the back. I'm just kind of lifting up a little bit. But before I let go with my left hand, I wanna make sure I'm not holding on to this thread over here with a death grip. Make sure it's kind of loose enough that as you let go, it can pull it out of your fingers. And see what it did? It pulled the loop out behind the, the needle. And that's all you need to do is just go in there and then pull that right on through. You wanna see that one more time? So we're coming down, step one, catch it under. Step two, bring that all the way down and around the needle and then up to those arms and then release it, let it pull it out of your fingers and then all, all the way out. Do keep in mind that that little tiny piece of metal is so fragile. If it starts getting bent to one side because you're not doing it right, well, it's gonna be bent. And so it's not gonna go through the eye of the needle. So if it's not working for you, like after the 10th time you've tried it, it probably is not positioned right. You can, If you can see it, bend it back, or if you need to, just have your dealer kind of help you and reset it as needed. Uh, also too, if your needle is not high enough up into the opening that you need to tighten it into, like you've changed needles and you don't get that all the way up, believe me, that needle thread is not gonna come down and hit the opening. So that's other, another reason to number one, use your needle threader, and number two, note before you start sewing that your needle was not put in properly. So needle threaders rock, be gentle with them, and again, just use your threading and you'll love it, but master it and you'll always use it.